Hey folks, coming to you on a bright day in March. Kind of cold today. Uh, this is a video on a little project I picked up. Been wanting to build one of these for a while now. And actually found one that was partially built. And it came with a, a lot of sheet metal. I had to drive two and a half hours to go get it, but that wasn't that far of a drive really in the in the scheme of things. I don't know much about it other than it, it was a project someone started and didn't finish. <clears throat> I've got plenty of those myself. But uh, this is what's known as a Hummel bird. A guy by the name of Maury Hummel came up with this design. And fuselage is eh, about... I would say three quarters done, maybe, maybe not quite. And I don't know. There's, you know, I look at it, and the rivets are are nice and flush, but there are some spots where the rivets are sunk in a little deeper than I like to see. So I'm I'm gonna talk to a few people and see if that's kosher or that should be um, taken apart and basically done again. Uh, looks like this is the, the right material. It's Alcoa 2024 T3. That's the type of aluminum that was used. So, yeah, me me and the trusty old Toyota truck. There's some parts in the back of it, as a matter of fact. The guy had some engines, too, so I got a couple of VW halves from him. <laughs> Far from being ready to rock and roll obviously but uh, yeah this is probably gonna sit most of the summer I've got other work to do but it's it's good to have a start of one and who knows maybe I'll leave it all together maybe I'll tear parts of it down and it just kind of depends on what people have for opinions on those rivets I've seen a few of them that way and I certainly don't want to see the see something flapping at 5,000 feet <laughs> that wouldn't be good but yeah my rickety old trailer Jeez, we did 70 miles an hour 75 miles an hour on the way back decent roads too but don't have a lot of money into it you don't have to have a lot of money to to get something rolling really it's just all it's it's a matter of you know personal preference when you want to build something but I like this aircraft because it's all aluminum. It's this is not considered an ultralight, but there is an ultralight version. I have plans for that as well. Now, this project came with plans, the Hummel Bird. The other one is called an Ultra Cruiser. And uh there's also an H5, which is a little more advanced, but they all kind of look the same sitting next to one another from a distance. You know, you can tell tell them apart if you know them, but uh anyway, yeah, it's pretty pretty low cost you put your time and effort into making the jigs and if you're gonna do it from scratch um making the jigs and making the templates <clears throat> pardon me the, the templates come in the blueprints but you you cut them out and use those you know to trace your aluminum and what have you it's just a matter of how much time you want to spend on it versus you can buy a kit but it's a lot more money you know i, I don't have a lot of a lot of money to spend on something like this myself so you know, you don't have to have much. Got an old trailer around. This was an old boat trailer. I've been using it for years to haul motorcycles with. I need to do a little more repair on the front of it. I had a press drop on this once. It's a big old 5,000 pound press, believe it or not. I hauled this trailer. Well, it wasn't quite 5,000. It was probably closer to 4,000 pounds still. Two tons. This thing was squatting pretty good. Anyway, got an old car. I fabricated a hitch on it. Matter of fact, my boss gave me that hitch a long time ago, and I was going to put it on a different car. It didn't. <clears throat> so I put it on this one. I've been using it for quite a while now to haul motorcycles and, well, for a few months anyway, to haul motorcycles and small small projects. And, yeah, this thing trails real nice. So, you know, don't let money stop you if you, you want to build something. You know, if you don't need a lot, you can, you know, if you want to buy plans directly from Hummel, they're 270 bucks, I believe for the Ultra Cruiser and I think about the same for this and the H5. Just gotta learn a few sheet metal skills and um, 
I I don't have forming skills yet, but I'll I'll get there. I've done a lot with metal work in the last 20 years, so uh, I'm not afraid of it. We'll make see what the you know see what the project entails as we go, and hopefully make a few videos and have some fun with it. But yeah, definitely won't see any videos on it for a little while because summer's coming up and uh, it's going to get busy. So I'll have more Honda 70 and C50 videos probably in the future, in the next six months over this. Maybe I'll do a video when I get set up in my shop. I'm going to clear a spot for just this and then when winter time hits again next year, try and, try and build the, you know, put the spars in it and... Uh, Build the wings. Like I said, we'll see how things go. Another project on the list. Stay tuned.